Hi. Oh, got to film this way so there's light. Good morning. It is the first day after the dog has gone home for my board one week and I feel free. <laughs> I feel very excited for the day. Um, something that I just recently purchased is a Vitamix blender. I probably did not need to spend as much as I did on this blender, but I was just kind of motivated. I wanted to start making smoothies again. So this morning I want to try out making celery water or juice, whatever it's called, because um, I've been hearing that it's very good for you. And maybe if it's something that I don't mind drinking, I would like to start doing that on a daily basis. So I'm going to first try to make it with just celery and seeing if I like the taste of that. If that's hard for me to take in, then I will definitely start adding in other stuff to make it taste better. All right, I'm gonna try a few, and if it doesn't look like there's enough, I'll make more, but let's see how this goes. Oh wait, I'm probably supposed to add some water, right? It's all on the sides now. Yeah, I need to add some fucking water. <laughs> oh, funny. Okay, so I definitely did not make enough. It's only filling up half a cup, but let's give this a try. I mean, I did, I need to look up an official recipe because at first I was like, I don't need to put any water in there. But then I was like, all right, it's, it's blending to the edge of the container and then it's not gonna touch the blade anymore. So I need something to kind of like, I mean, when I increase the speed, it did start like just flipping all over the place, which is good. So let's... Well, it's warm because <laughs> the water I use is warm. Very, um, well, obviously it's not blended well to the point where it's complete liquid. So there's like little, little bits of pulp, I guess you can say. Tiny, 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 tiny bit of bitterness, but it's not the type of bitterness that lingers, which is good. I don't mind it. I think I might still consider adding something else to it because I can definitely see myself not wanting to drink this every day if it tastes the way it does. Cause like I would definitely have to force myself and there's really no need for that. I could add something else like apples or I wonder what strawberries would taste like with this because I have some on me. But, okay, three basically only makes half a cup, so I'm gonna have to add more in the future. I'm just gonna have that for now. I just wanted to try it out. Um, I need to, I'm gonna order some lunch and then I'm gonna take a shower. Um, oh, it's only 11 a.m. I'm probably gonna clean up a little bit after as well. Milo. Oh, look who we have here. <laughs> Today, it's just pretty chill. I'm probably gonna do a lot of household stuff. I need to wash my sheets. Um, my coworker is gonna get here in about 30 minutes and he's going to bring his Smith & Wesson MNP shield and let me manipulate it for a bit because, um, well, when you're at the range, I felt like I didn't really have a lot of opportunity to actually handle the gun. It was just load it, cock it, and then shoot it. Um, but I do plan on, well, I have to like, I have to take a step back for a second because uh, I record bits for a video and then I kind of like decide not to use it. So I am in the process or I have decided that I want to buy a gun for uh, self-defense and hopefully in the future I want to get a concealed carry license. 
but until then I need to buy a gun first, I need to practice with it, I need to be good at using it. So um, I went shooting with my coworker last week and uh, he just recently purchased a concealed carry weapon, MMP shield, that he intends on using and he already submitted his concealed carry application. So um, he's pretty much very knowledgeable with guns, he's been shooting for a long time and uh, I just like having guidance when I'm trying to get into something new. So um, before I leave for vacation, I may plan on going to the range, taking the firearm safety certificate, hopefully pass, and then I'll purchase my gun on the same day. There is a 10 day waiting period before you're able to pick up your gun. So that's fine. I'm gonna go to vacation and then when I get back, I can pick it up. But when you pick it up, you need to show proper handling of the gun. And when I was at the range with him, I had difficulty cocking the slide back. So um, that's something that I want to practice with him today and just kind of like handle it without shooting it really and just kind of get used to the feel of it, get used to manipulating it and all of that. Well, I've looked at the gun on the website and I'm pretty sure that I plan on buying the same one, which is why he's going to bring it and let me use it. Um, they have I believe when it's California compliant, they only have two versions. Um, there's always going to be a thumb safety, but they have either a white dot when it comes to the aim, or there's also a green dot optic or something like that. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with green dot optic. That might mean that, I don't know if they need a special order it or something, but I think last time when we were at the range, they did not seem like they had the green dot optic in stock. So I'm pretty excited about it because once I get it, I'll be able to go to ranges. Um, he even said that we could possibly go to a long range outdoors and shoot and that would be really, really cool. Um, just so many more options because I'm so used to shooting being limited to going to the range and renting, but once you have your own, it just opens up a bunch of opportunities. So that's today and then tomorrow I have housekeeping coming at one o'clock I actually was thinking maybe I'll go to the range and take my test tomorrow um, while I have to be out of my house for the three hours that it's gonna take for them to clean it so I'm gonna ask them today or I can check obviously online if they're open tomorrow I feel like they're probably open tomorrow even though it's Sunday people want to go shooting on Sunday so uh, I'll have to reread the booklet guide it's like a 50 page PDF file and it's about, you know, safe handling, making sure that it needs to be locked up in the home, um, children limited access because of all those terrible accidents that tend to happen when a child finds a gun and it should not be loaded when it's stored at home, um, some of the other rules regarding purchasing of a gun. I wonder if that whole section, um, I wonder if I'm going to have to know specific details like how much will be fine like i hate stuff like that like specific specific details i do also want to practice with rylai because i don't have guests coming over very often so i want her on place but when he gets here and we'll see how she behaves yeah her excitement really varies sometimes somebody comes over and she's like hardly able to contain her excitement and then other times she just doesn't really care and she's really good about it she looks really tired right now for some reason but um yeah that's coming up and then I'm starting to wind down prepare for vacation coming up I need to buy more raw meat um, so I need to buy some chicken breast and I'm gonna grind it tomorrow I'm gonna put it in some plastic bag containers as well as I'll put it in like a glass container for two to three of them for this upcoming week for her to feed and then I will bring only bag versions uh, to the trip because it'll just make it easier to put inside the Yeti Instead of these big containers that are very blocky, takes up a lot of space. I need two weeks worth of food, so it needs to fit all in the Yeti. Hey guys, so I, I just finished... <laughs> let's restart. Hi guys, so I just finished um, having my meetup with my co-worker. He was extremely, extremely helpful. Great stories. He's a funny guy. And I was able to handle um, just safe handling of the gun. Load it up, um, pull back the slide, uh, it's armed, and then you pull the trigger and then pop out the snap cap. So I did that a couple times. 
At first, I was doing it like this, sideways. No, 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 I was doing it like this, where I was holding it like this and pulling it like this. But he recommends that I hold it up here and pull back like this. That way, I can always have it pointing forward if there's a threat. And it's also safer and closer to my body. Um, here, I have a motor vehicle DMV thing. And I mainly got this because... I have to prove my address that I'm a California resident so I will hope that this is good enough um, it should be good enough it mentioned like examples like utility bill and stuff but um, I just kind of want to go today and take the test for some reason um, tomorrow I have housekeeping coming so that is a good time for me to go because I'm I have to be out of the house anyways um, but I'm gonna have Riley with me and who knows how long the process is gonna take I don't like the idea of her being in the car for very long because it's probably going to be hot during the day so I'm gonna just go now very quick um, hopefully in and out right and then it'll be very very exciting I'm very very much looking forward to this alrighty hello guys I am done and I got my firearm safety certificate so I don't really know what is worth hiding yeah let's hide so I got it um, I only got two questions wrong one of them was um, you are able to own firearms after you're committed of a felony after after like what amount of time and apparently it's never I put 10 years I actually had no idea that was something that I definitely did not read um, in detail in the guide and then the other question was um, lethal force is allowed after um, physical danger has stopped like basically saying that if you're in a situation where you need to use your firearm like at what point can you keep using your gun or you should stop um i think i just misread that wording so i put true even though it's false because i was just in my mind i was thinking like what if the guy had already physically harmed you so even if further physical force no longer is at risk he already fucking hurt you but he was just saying like you know you can't do that <laughs> so that was easy. I don't know why I was so worried about it because I was like, oh my god, I'm going to fail. Um, it was 30 questions, so I would need to miss more than seven, which is a lot. Those questions are pretty common sense. So I purchased my gun today. I got the, I mentioned it, Smith & Wesson MNP Shield, but I'm also very excited because I got it in a really cool gray color. So this whole time I thought I would get like a plain black gun and just basic ass sights but my sights are high vis this that's the term they used so I had red and then green at the tip and it's just it's beautiful so um, one hiccup is just that my driver's license is not real ID which means that it does not prove that I'm a citizen of the of the United States so I need to find my passport or my birth or my birth certificate I have purchased my very first firearm and I have my firearm safety certificate so I am so excited.